All right, we left off by uh, uh, where I was going to add this uh, decoder chip. So we have the encoder chip, and now we have the decoder chip. And this will take the DTMF tones and decode them. And it decodes them into uh, tone present, that's one bit, and then four bits of which tone, uh, so one of, one of 16. And those go into the uh, Arduino, and then we'll see if it works here. So in order to test this out, uh, we need to add some circuitry. We need to get a tone in there, okay? And so I'm going to use this little board that I showed, I think in my first video. Uh, this is the, the DTMF generator. And we will uh, use the supplied cable. They give this little cable, and so I'm going to take the tones out of this and put them into here. But this needs 5 volts to operate, and I already have 5 volts over here, so I made a little jumper cable here. Uh, let me make sure the jumper the wires are right here. Let's see. The ground and VCC, yeah, that goes here. So, okay, there it goes. So I'm just stealing some. I'm stealing some power over. All right, and now we need to have some some voltages in. Let's see here. Where is plus five? Plus five is here. Let's see. My power supply is a little too high. I turn it down a bit. That should be good. All right, plus five is here, and ground is here. And does it turn on? Oops, that's not ground. Ground is here. There we go. All right, uh, so let's see if we can get a, get a close look on this. So if I press a button over here, there we go. Uh, you can watch the, uh, watch the decode here. So if I press uh, the D... It's all zeros. Here's one, two, three. It's kind of upside down. No, it's not. It's right side up. Four, five, six. So, uh, and then uh, if we look, if we look over here, you can see that it's actually decoding. So anyway, uh, so that was really easy to add. Um, so now I have um, encode, decode, and it's all. It all seems to be working. Um, I think my next step is going to be what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to uh, take this circuit and then move it over into a radio somewhere. Uh, so I can have uh, basically a poor man's uh, digital interface, right? Yes, I could do LoRa. Yes, I could do LAN. I could do all those things, uh, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want to do really a simple DTMF thing. So um, no matter where I am, I could actually... Uh, use my radio and I can use the touchstone pad and I can actually send the signals, right? And um, if you think about what you want to communicate, it's probably not all that much. Um, you want to give it a command to do something or you want to get data back, like what's the temperature? Well, I could go dee 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 and it could send you the temperature and touchstone. That'd be kind of cool. It's really, really old school, but that's kind of what my channel's about. Really, really old school. So uh, I think the next... Uh, Next phase of the project, um, let's see, should I show you that? I guess I'll show you the code that I wrote here. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put that in here. All right, so this is the program that I had for the uh, uh, the DTMF uh, uh, send, and I've just commented out the, uh, the send portion. Uh, so this is really, really crude here. So uh, excuse me for... For everything, but uh, I've added uh, this stuff. So mm, the key presence is on pin five, and then the DTMF uh, four bits is uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So those are the pins. I have to uh, enable those pins, and um, then all I have to do is uh, let's see. Here's my here's my loop. So all my loop is, is, <laughs> uh, I'm going to call the, the subroutine DTMF wait. So it's just going to sit in that wait and it's going to return whichever key is pressed and then it's going to display it. And that's all it does. And then, uh, let's see, this is the wait. So this is really the, the, the bottom here. This is, uh, this is the code that you need to, that's new. So while digital read to MTF keys, so it's going to sit there. If, if there's no key press, it's going to stay 
stay on this line right here forever. It's just going to sit there and loop and loop and loop and loop and loop until you actually press a key. When you press a key, it's then going to read uh, Q4, Q3, Q2, and Q1, and it's going to add them together with their digital weights, right? So eight times Q4, two times, uh, uh, four times Q3, and two times Q1, and then one times Q1. And uh, so now you have the right value for, for key. And uh, I should put a little space right here. Um, and then um, you want to not do anything until you let go of the key. So now we're going to uh, wait forever here while the key is still pressed. So this is not equal to zero. This exclamation point equals zero. That's not equal to zero. So while you have the key down, it's going to stay here. And then once you let the key up, it will return and then it will display the value on the on the screen. So that's all there is to it. Okay, so that's really, really, that's really, really simple to do, isn't it? Uh, so I think my next step is going to be, uh, remember this board, this was my kind of radio on a chip controlled by a uh, microcontroller. And I'm adding a, a, an encode and decode to, to this board. So now it will be able to listen uh, over the air for, for DTMFF, and it will be able to transmit DTMF uh, to somewhere else. So yeah, I think uh, that'll be the next step. Um, I haven't wired it up yet. I put these on. Uh, I put these on sockets, so uh, uh, that would be good. And next adventure into DTMF.